It's, um, it's been a surreal moment this morning. We've got both engines running already. We've got everything ready to go now. We just need to untie and, and head out. So just uh, so thankful for all of our many blessings and it's happening. It's happening, babe. Let's go do this thing. Let's go do it. We got a lot of cool people to meet along the way. Yeah, we do. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting us on our YouTube channel. This is literally just the beginning. This is leaving the dock. The adventure begins. The adventure so, begins. <laughs> we're so glad you're here and I'm gonna put my hat on because it's really cold this morning. Never yeah. thought I'd need this old thing after leaving Indiana. <laughs> It's been more than two years ago since we got this crazy idea to buy a boat and travel the world together. What started as, one day I'd love to travel, quickly turned into, how do we make this happen? Now, we're leaving the dock. And to be honest, we're scared scared of all the unknowns and what ifs, but we're quick to remind ourselves that what's scarier to us is settling for society's norms and waiting for retirement. It is for warmth, not beauty. <laughs> we'll sail 65 miles to Cayo Costa State Park. All right, Em, you're going to put this onto the winch there. Okay. Yep, three times, around the tongue, through the groove. Uh, yep, all right. Uh, you're gonna open up the red over the, the red sheet on the other side. Yep, open it up. All right. I'm gonna open this up here. All right, start pulling it out. I'm still learning a lot about sailing. All right, stop, 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 stop. There we go, all right. All right, pull it in. We're gonna tighten it up. Yeah, keep going. All right. Spread my wings and let go. Something stirring in my soul. I feel it again, feel it again. Feel it again, feel it again. Unlock the Adventure Cruise, this is Valentine. Hey, Valentine. Hey, um, I don't know if you've been in here since the hurricane. We just came in and uh, we made it in just fine. We found that the bar there at the entrance near where the sign used to be, maybe a little bit more shallow than it used to be. We saw, it's almost high tide now. You may see five foot eight going through there, maybe six foot. And it gets deeper after that, and it's kind of uh, back to normal after that spot. We just thought that was a little bit more shallow than normal, but uh, no problems getting in here. Over. Yeah, I really appreciate you reaching out. Thank you so much. We've gotten anchored in. Time to make some lunch, dinner, dinner. Yeah, it's definitely uh, we... breakfast, lunch, and dinner because we haven't really eaten much all day. We're so hungry. <laughs> back by popular demand, we're having butthole soup tonight.
All right, so we just dumped in some chicken broth. We just uh, dumped in our heavy whipping cream. Right before that, we actually browned our Italian sausage. And then we're gonna go in with the tortellinis. Emily and I really like peppers and just about everything. So good thing about breakfast in the morning is we like to use a lot of our leftovers. Um, so we're going to have some egg whites with peppers, a little bit of garlic. I'll do some salt and pepper in it. And then I'm also gonna heat up the black beans and rice that we got um, as a leftover, go along with it. Today we're going to explore our anchorage at Pelican Bay in Keacosta State Park. So we've seen barges and all kinds of uh, workers coming and going uh, from the island. Obviously it got hit pretty bad with the hurricane so we know that uh, they are bringing supplies in and out. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure where we should uh, Park, yeah. She got trees down all across the docks over here, and not really sure where we can put the dinghy. After a very short trip to the state park, unfortunately the park is closed because of the hurricane and we are met by a really nice park ranger. Um, yeah, she's actually the biologist on, on island. Exactly. And she's been here about two years and she just kind of, you know, yeah. somebody just said, hey, like, we have no facilities and therefore the, the park Park's is closed, closed which yeah. we figured. Oh, of we, course, we but knew by worth a try. That yeah. It was not uh, in a good state. Right. Um, but they do have crews on. Uh, on, property, on property, just working to clean, and we've seen barges coming in and out. There are trucks on the island as they're working to just get everything cleaned up. Unfortunately, it's going to be a really, really long road ahead, uh, probably sometime middle she of next was year. Middle of next year, yeah. Before like they before they reopen, possibly. So uh, remains to be seen, but that's kind of how the the forecast is looking now, as far as reopening, just given the amount of workload there is to do. So we're going to keep on trucking around in our dinghy. While we weren't able to explore the state park by land, it didn't stop us from exploring by water. The Manatee Hole is a small lagoon just around the corner where manatees can be found almost every day of the year. No, you're not. No, <laughs> baby. <laughs> now start it. See how fast it goes. <laughs> Babe, there's to no. To get this shot, mm -hmm. you gotta go places other people won't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, sandbar never stopped nobody. So our reasoning for dragging the dinghy across the sandbar 
is to see this so-called tunnel of love. That's what they call it on Navionics, the tunnel of love. Yeah. I have my own personal gondolier. <laughs> Don't get me wet. <laughs> I think it's deep enough I can start the motor again now. Think so? I do. Okay. I don't know that we should. Yeah, I don't know. There's some little nasty buzzards ahead of us. Mm. Came all the way to see some buzzards. No. <laughs> I'm getting my camera wet. Oh, look at the fish on the tree. Oh, Aww, that's sad. Oh, look at the fish here in the branches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were disappointed to see the damage done to the Tunnel of Love from the hurricane. The area has recently seen red tide, which is why we've seen dead fish and countless vultures swarming the skies. Tonight, we're going to dinner at Cabbage Key. It's a charming island we'll show you more of tomorrow. This girl's motoring us out of the cut here. We just pulled anchor. First time she has been at the helm while we're pulling the anchor. So that was a, a good trial run. Got a little bit more to, uh, to learn, both of us. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see our anchor at times because it is up underneath the trampoline. So um, took us a little bit longer than I was hoping, but that's all right. We're, uh, we're in no rush. got moored at Cabbage Key and we had such a great time last night uh, on our dinghy right here and having dinner at the inn here that we decided we'd come back today. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come back. We had dinner last night and now we're gonna have lunch. So they are famous for their cheeseburgers. So I think uh, a cheeseburger is due. We're taking a step back in time to old Florida. There's no cars here, not even a paved road. Cabbage Key is 100 acres of underdeveloped paradise. It's only accessible by boat, making it both quiet and charming. All right, we got the cheeseburger here. Cheeseburger in paradise as a many people like to call it and uh, I cut it in half because it's so big but this thing well it's amazing <laughs> She comes to a place known for cheeseburgers. And what does she do? She orders chicken. <laughs> Grilled chicken cheese sandwich. It's really good. Is it's it? so good, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my cheeseburger in paradise. There is the, the rumor that Jimmy Buffett actually wrote the song about Cabbage Key here. So there's uh, there's some conflicting things there, but nevertheless, I like to think that the burger I just had was definitely a cheeseburger in paradise. So I think that uh, it certainly makes sense. 
and uh, Jimmy Buffett has actually played music here uh, back years ago. And uh, that is his uh, dollar bill there in the frame. There's expensive wallpaper in the dollar bill bar. There's more than $70,000 in signed dollar bills from patrons. And of course, we had to leave our mark too. It's a beautiful day here at Cabbage Key. And we are with Scott, the restaurant manager here. We enjoyed our conversation so much with you oh, last great. night. Obviously it was off camera, but we wanted to come back. We wanted to chat with you on camera and really bring light to the situation that Cabbage Key is back open and running. People come visit, all the things. Really kind of tell us what the state is like after Hurricane Ian here. Well, you know, I'm glad you actually say that because a lot of our guests really thought that we were destroyed and closed. Sure. We opened up October 13th. Now we're back up and running. Our accommodations are open. Our restaurants are open. As you can see in the background, folks, we have many boats at our marina, boats that are coming in. It's great to have you guys here. And it's so good it to really be is. here. Cole had always wanted to take me here when we were dating and we had our power boat. So then when we were making our trip down south toward Key West, we're like, let's stop at Cabbage Key. It's open. We wanted to patron you guys because we know it's been tough through the hurricane. Animal wise, what's that looking like here? Are all the animals okay? Believe it or not, when we left, we had gopher tortoises, we had osprey, we had over uh, 10 mallard ducks. When we returned, they're all here. Oh, that's such a blessing. They really are. So glad to hear that. And for anyone who's wanting to come and stay, obviously it is only accessible by boat. Yes, so ma'am, it is. How do you get here? Tell us where you are and the accommodations that are here. Okay, so we're located on Channel Marker 60 on the Intercoastal West. You can get here either by your own boat, by helicopter, or by water taxi. By helicopter? helicopter. I was about to say the same we thing. We have a helipad. That's Where's the really helipad? Cool. The helipad, if you guys walk, follow the path behind the inn, and then there's a sign that says private wells only. Okay. Go through that, and then you'll see there's a helipad. And if they tell us to get out, we'll say, we know a guy. It's okay. <laughs> we can be here. <laughs> With enough history here to fill an entire book, Cabbage Key is certainly a must-see destination on Florida's west coast. Some may say quitting our jobs and buying a boat is risky, but we believe the bigger risk is waiting to live your life. Waiting for the right time is just wasting time and your life. Life is short and tomorrow isn't promised. If you have a dream, it all comes down to this. Make a plan and don't change it.